you know, just some other questions that we'll talk about. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, the type of home ownership, are you renting or owning? Owning. Um. The type of structure, is it single family detached, multi-unit townhome, multi-unit condo, or apartment? Single family. Okay. The date you approximately moved in? 2008. Okay. Have you always uh, lived in Houston County? No. Oh, okay. So where do you, um, tell me how your family ended up. Um, here then, or where are you from? I actually am from Houston County. Oh, okay. And then um, my husband was in the service. Oh, okay. And then we moved back. Okay, so you really are from, you are from Houston. And then where did y'all? Um, what branch was he in? Army. And where have y'all been stationed at? Oh, um, Fort Gordon. He's been through. Um, Germany. Oh, what part? Uh, Ramstein? No, 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 that's the Air Force uh, Base. Kissinger. Kissinger, okay. Is, how, how far is that from Wurzburg? I, I, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I just remember and we he, went over there. That's why I was asking. He's okay. been to Korea. He's been to Washington. Now, some of these places he at, like Washington, he, he was actually there before we got married. Mm hmm. And how long was he in the army? He was there about sixteen years. Uh huh. Sixteen years. Okay. Oh, okay. So y'all did a lot of traveling. No, he did a lot of traveling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he did a lot of traveling. I didn't do a lot of. Oh, traveling. so you just stayed here? Did you? Which base did you go to? I I went to Fort Gordon. Oh, to Fort. Isn't that here? Is uh, is um, Augusta? Augusta. Augusta right? mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the military. Got to travel, mm-hmm. and so then uh, the next question is uh, the type of. Can you tell me the structure, kind of the structure of your home? Um, like, does it have shingles? The uh, number of bedrooms and bathrooms that you have. It is um, brick fronting, front with siding. Um, Four bedrooms, two and a half baths, they want living room, family room, kitchen, dining room. And you said four bed and two and a half baths, right? Yes. Okay. And then what's the square footage on it? I think it's about twenty eight. Okay. okay. So do you have a rooftop solar? For your home? No. Okay. Um, tell me why you do not have a rooftop solar. Um, did you make that decision or was it made for you? I really just never thought about it. Oh, okay. That's, I mean, yeah, that's honest. Honest feedback. There are no right or wrong answers during this okay. survey. Have you ever thought about having it? No. Rooftop solar? No. No. Okay. I just really never thought about it. Do you know anything about it as far as with having rooftop solar or anything? Are well, you talking about the ones that were... They're like on the top of your roof? Well, we actually had one in Augusta. You did? We oh. did, but that's because it came, it was with the house when we got it. Base housing? No. It was an off-base housing? Yes. Oh, okay. How did that work? Do you know? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you said the house in Augusta did have it. It did. Did you notice like your light bill might have been cheaper than the one here? Mm-mm, I didn't. No. I do know that the the housing in Augusta now um, that's on Fort Gordon, I can see just by visiting back and forth that maybe they're getting ready to invest in that. Mm. I don't, I don't Okay, so <clears throat> would you, if it was available, want solar? You just tell me if you would or wouldn't. I, I would probably have to do a little bit more research on it because I, I've heard good things about it, but um, I've also heard um, that you go into it at one price, 
but then it depends on, I guess, what's going on, who controls the level of what you would end up paying. And so then I would have to just actually see if it's feasible. Mm-hmm. I mean, in the long run, would it save me money after going through the headache and getting it <laughs> installed? Or, uh, right. Or what advantage would it be to me? So you would need to know advantages and more like disadvantages too? Correct. And how would you, uh, do you think like maybe some classes about solar panels or just just something in general could help um, you get more knowledge about it? I think I would rather uh, talk to the people who actually have, uh, uh, who, who's going to be supplying it. Mm-hmm. And then I would like to actually um, talk to a homeowner who has it who didn't have it versus now that they do have it. Mm-hmm. All right. So I like to talk a little bit about rooftop uh, solar adaption just in general. So here's the map of the U.S. Okay. And then, um, <laughs> and uh, where do you think people have the most rooftop solar energy in their homes? Can you check, put a star or draw, however you like to, but just um, identify the states. State? Yeah, and identify the states that have rooftop solar in their home. I and you can just actually, use your pen okay. and mark on it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I don't know why I'm thinking this, but... Hey, there's no right or wrong answers. So you check Illinois and California and Colorado. Okay, uh, so can you tell me um, why you chose those states? Uh, I, I, I actually chose Illinois and Colorado because of the the weather mm-hmm. and and um, I'm thinking Illinois is really cold and windy. Right. And, uh, and, it, and actually when riding, uh, traveling, I always see these, these, uh, these fields with these, these solar panels mm-hmm. out in the field. So I'm thinking if, if I'm viewing this, then it has to be that these people are now trying to invest in this. I don't know if it's already been there or are they now trying to think of a way, another way of energy. And um, that's my main thought in that. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so, what makes um, that community where you've listed those different states so different from Houston County, you think? I, I'm thinking because Houston County is not such a cold area. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and mainly, I would be thinking of the solar panels for for the heating. Right. And, and it's not that cold uh, as far as year-round. We mainly have cold weather where your energy will be, will be hot probably about two to three months, and that's it. In Houston County? In Houston County. Mm-hmm. But out there, it'll be something. I, I mean, it starts early mm-hmm. and it goes on quite a while right okay. and um, uh, I just think it would be a little bit more feasible than in, the, in that area in in the Illinois Colorado area mm-hmm. as far as California it's not so so much feasible but they just seem to be a little bit more receptive to change okay that's a good point so now we're going to talk a little bit about the state of Georgia Okay, so with the state of Georgia, um, what community? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, where do you think uh, in the state of Georgia, in those counties, looking at those counties and the whole state, where do you think there's the most rooftop solar on their homes? And you could just check those again or circle wherever you think it's located. You're saying in the counties that mm-hmm. are... The counties or the areas where you think there's solar panels listed. 
And these are the, the counties that are already marked here. Hmm. And these are the counties that are already marked? Oh, no, those are just the ones they kind of give you a idea to let you know where those counties okay. are. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, which one of these is like uh, Peach? And, and the reason I'm saying that is because traveling to Columbus, I can see <laughs> yeah, those not, things are all out in the field. Out there in um, and Taylor County? That's the county, I'm thinking. Yeah, Taylor County. So where's that? I don't, uh, I'm thinking Taylor County. Yes, uh, let's see, it's, uh... So it's gonna be somewhere Houston. near... Yeah, well, Houston is, uh... Okay, this is Macon. So Houston's, I think, right here. So Taylor's, Taylor's gonna, gonna be there. somewhere near yeah. going mm -hmm. to Columbus. Yes, so I'm thinking somewhere in there. Yes, you can just circle or put an X, however just, you would like to. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Well, I don't know where it is on the maps. So. But that's the only area you think that's that they a, have? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Anywhere so. else you think they might have solar panels in the state? Well, I'm sure they do. I mm -hmm. just don't know of it. Okay. You don't have to. There's no right or wrong answers. You could just um, say where you think they might have it as well. I'm sure it's other counties. Uh-huh. You should have asked me if you gave me a free and I would have researched it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of strange because I, I I wouldn't think the the southernmost states would right. be so. I yeah. mean, the southern counties would right. have it. The ones that are closer to the Florida area because it's stable warmer. Right. Okay. And so, what makes the uh, counties that you identify with? You say Taylor County, and then like a county going towards Augusta. And that's because I've seen these things. Oh, I seen them. <laughs> seen the solar panels. What What do you think it makes it different between those counties and Houston County? I, I'm thinking introduction. Okay. That's it. And I've actually seen them in in uh, in Richmond. So. So you, so you said introduction to the solar panels. I'm thinking introduction. I mean, I mean somebody approaching the county management and or, or uh, just the introduction of it to, to the people within in the county. So, mm -hmm. are pushing the effort. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, I, I, I hadn't heard that much about it in in this area other than, you know, hearing it on the news, but. It's not like it's a topic of conversation. Right. Mm -hmm. Not with me, it's not a topic of conversation. Right. Okay. So, uh, so what about any of your close friends here in Georgia? Do they have solar on their rooftop? No. Okay. Why do you think they don't? I'm thinking introduction. I mean, they, it's just something that's not, not talked about. Um... Uh, not to the point where it will make them want to research it that much. And then when you actually look at the fluctuation in, in, in your heating and uh, your heating bill versus your, your air bill, is it even feasible to even think about it? Mm -hmm. and, because, and probably because we hadn't had a conversation about how much money it's going to save you. Right.